This is a demo of the C2 Visual REPL, which is the easiest way to get started making closure-based data visualizations. Uh, like many magical things, it starts on the internet. Uh, right here I have a Chrome window, and I'm going to go over to chemilabs.com slash C2. And then about midway down the page, there's a link here to download the Visual REPL. And what the Visual REPL actually is, is a, a jar file that contains Clojure, it contains C2, and it has a built-in web server. So it has everything in there that you need to get started. So let's just download this guy. I'm going to drag it to the desktop over here. And then right here I have a, a terminal window. So I'm going to go to the desktop, and then we're actually going to run this. So we're going to say java-jar c2 visual REPL, and I'm going to add this extract flag. And what that's going to do is it's going to unzip some built-in samples to the desktop. So here you can see it, it's uh, created this folder called samples, and inside of it we have uh, two sample visualizations that you can play with. So first let's verify that the visual REPL is actually running. So we can go to localhost 8987, and then we can see that the visual REPL is in fact running. And then uh, let's just look at one of these samples. So let's open up this chloropleth here. And the way that visual REPL actually works is that it just watches this folder and it will run the most recently modified file. So if I just add a space to this file and save it, the visual REPL is going to notice, it's going to run it, and then it's going to automatically reload Chrome here and show the visualization. And so you get a really nice, uh, quick, interactive um, sort of environment where you can look through this file and make changes and play around with different things as you're making these visualizations. So in this one, for instance, you could say, oh, I don't like this green color scheme. You know, let's make it blue, see how that looks. And uh, you can very quickly uh, see instantly, you know, in the background automatically, uh, what's up. So so that's pretty much it. Of course, there's a ton more information on the, the main website, which again is chemilabs.com slash c2. All right. Thanks.